everyone! So today I have a mini haul for you guys, which I know it's been a long time since I've done a haul. And let's face it, I miss it. I hope you miss it because haul videos are obviously some of my favorite videos to film. So I did a mini little haul at cupiddrop.com. It's a new website that I wanted to try out. I was really interested in it because it has a lot of brands that I have a hard time finding on other websites. It has brands like CosRx, CosRx, however you pronounce that. Beige, 3CE, A True, and even Kicho, which I actually haven't talked about on my channel. I'm just realizing now, but I have talked about their products on my blog in the past, so I will link that down below and just check out my blog in general because I review and talk about a lot of products that sometimes I don't get to on my channel. Now just to give you guys a little bit more information about keepitdrop.com because I know we're all interested in shipping information, keepitdrop.com has free shipping for those of you guys living in the United States who spend $50 or more. If you don't spend $50 or more, it's a flat rate of $6.95 per order. And as far as international shipping goes, they do offer international shipping so you can definitely check out their product. Okay, first off, I was inspecting this at all. My package arrived in this cute box. Now, I Snapchatted me kind of like opening this, and this box is like a substantial, sturdy box that you can use over and over and over again, which is nice. Inside, you have all of your products. So just to show you guys some additional freebies that I got with my package, I got this, which is really freaking cool for being just a... Uh, a bonus freebie. So this little planner has like little sections that you can plan out your months and it has little spots that you can write down the days and things like that. So on top of that, it came with stickers. I love me some stickers too. While you're like planning out your week and your month, you can decorate your plans with these stickers. Now for filming purposes, I did stick everything back in their boxes, but I have tried all these products and I've been trying them for a couple weeks so that I could give you guys some more information on how they've been working for my skin. Let's talk about this guy. Now like I said, they do carry 3CE, which is kind of hard to find sometimes. This is the 3CE Style Nanda Marble Highlighter. This is in hashtag bling peach. Now this highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. It is not chunky glitter at all, so you don't get like a really glittery effect. Instead, you just get like a really pretty sheen. I've got it on my cheeks here, on the top of my cheeks, as well as a little bit on the bridge of my nose, but I really, really like this highlighter. Although one thing I will say is I'm surprised it's not more smooth for 3CE. I have eyeshadows and I have a blush from them, so this is a little bit more not as smooth, I guess I should say, but it works really well, so it's kind of weird. At first when I was like feeling it, I was like, oh, it's kind of not so smooth, but it looks beautiful on my skin, so I guess it works. So these next two things are from a brand that I've never tried before. So this product right here is the A True Black Tea All Day Long Sun Cream. This is SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. On top of that, it is a non-greasy formula and water and sweat resistant, which is good because if you're like me, I'm a sweaty girl, so I need sunscreen that is sweat resistant. And this also has a really nice light fragrance to it. It's nothing too crazy for those of you guys who might be kind of hesitant about using fragrance products. But one thing I've noticed in both my A2 products, and I, I'm not really sure if this is something that is exclusive to the brand or kind of what makes them unique, there's black tea water in both products and tea is obviously very rich in antioxidants, so it's always good for adding into your skincare, just that extra protection because antioxidants fight free radicals. So my personal experience with this sunscreen is that it is a thicker formula. So you can see it here, it's a little bit thicker, but it is fairly easy to rub in and it doesn't have a sticky feel whatsoever. Now I will say, to me, it doesn't necessarily categorize as a lightweight sunscreen. It does have a bit of weight to it, but for me, that's awesome because I have dry skin, so my skin just sucks it up. So I would definitely recommend this for dry skin people. It's an awesome sunscreen and it really preps the skin for foundation or anything like that. From the same brand, I have this A True Sweet Song Black Tea One Step Cleansing Water. Now I love cleansing waters. Cleansing waters are one of my favorite skincare products just in general because they're awesome multitasking products for removing your makeup, for if your face feels kind of grimy, if you just kind of want a nice pick me up for your skin. Cleansing waters are the way to go. Now I was actually doing a little bit of research on this product. Again, you'll find the black tea water, except this time it's at 87% in this, which is good because instead of buying cleansing water that's 80% 
water and you're kind of spending that money for water, you're spending it on purified, high quality black tea, which again, fights free radicals, blah, blah, blah. We all know how great it is. But this also has fruit extracts in it. I wrote it down. It has sugar cane, oranges, lemon, and sugar maple, and they all help to kind of break up the dead skin that's sitting on your face and remove it. So it is gently exfoliating your skin without stripping your skin, and it's also very nourished. Now, I know you guys have been wondering what the heck is on my arms. No, I did not get a tattoo, and if I did get a tattoo, that'd be terrible if these are my tattoos. I did this last time. Ugh. I put these on my arm because I want to show you guys how well this removes makeup because honestly this has become one of my favorite cleansing waters in general. I use this just while I was traveling over the weekends and things like that but I also use this on the video where I was testing out ColourPop lip matte lipstick things on my lips and those things are a bugger to remove and this guy I just like let it sit on my lips for a couple seconds with a cotton pad, just swiped it off and it came off without like destroying my lips which are very sensitive and get easily messed up. I am going to go ahead and soak with the cleansing water. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm not really pushing at my skin that much. But there goes the Clio Killback liner came off. This is already like full of lipstick, unfortunately. Now those are kind of massive swatches. I probably shouldn't have swatched them so big because these things got full really fast, but that was really easy to remove with this cleansing water. So last but not least, what I got from CupidDrop.com is this makeup remover. This is a three second perfect eye remover. I know, eye remover. This is from Beige. And I know it says eye remover, but it doesn't remove your eyes. It removes your eye makeup and your lip makeup if you wanted to. And the reason why it's called three seconds perfect eye remover is because it's supposed to remove your makeup in three seconds. Now that's kind of a big statement there. And this is why I got this side of my arm all marked up with the same product. So we are gonna do the same thing with this eye makeup remover. So I'm just going to pour some on my cotton pad. So I'm gonna soak it. One, two, three. Wow, do you guys see that? How it broke it up? Look at how much it broke it up already. I'm so sorry you guys for putting the swatches here. Can you guys see that? Like it, it literally was like three seconds and it broke up that lip color matte thingy from ColourPop really quickly. I don't know why I can't pronounce that. So there we go. Like I said, that was a big swatch. So I'm going to need a, another cotton pad and we will remove the rest of my makeup. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You guys see that? Look at that. All done. Pretty cool, huh? Alright guys, so that was my mini haul from CupidDrop.com. I hope you guys enjoyed me kind of giving you guys little reviews and demos of some of these products. And I hope this provides another resource for you guys who might be on the hunt for certain Korean brands or certain products. And yeah, I will put the links down in the description box below of the products that I got myself. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.